Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Dialogue to Destiny. Our goal is to engage in discussions that lead to personal and systematic change. These conversations can broach subjects that some may find offensive. It is not the intent of Dialogue to Destiny to in any way offend. Our intent is to encourage open dialogue so that collectively we can all move forward. We've been down for way too long, but now they saying we're equal. Then I'm the one that's wrong from trying to wake up all my people. Speaking facts about the system, how the wicked is ruling. But now the mice is on, it's time for us to do the schooling. Tell the whole truth, salute. This knowledge is heaven sent, politicking in a cipher. Breaking bread with my constituents. We melanated and all hated. Let's just keep it real, sharing from the mind every time. That's how we truly feel. With verbal buckshots to the chest. Aiming for the kill. They bring a new life. Get your mind right. Okay, welcome everybody to another episode of Dialogue to Destiny. Today's conversation, we're going to talk about making yourself recession proof and how to live an austere life. Joining uh, my partner Steve and I today is going to be my brother, Dreadfro D, and my stepson, <laughs> Lex Rizza. Um, they're going to, they're bringing some information to us. This is a conversation that my brother and I have probably <clears throat> argued, messed up a lot of family get togethers over the years you know discussing and arguing so for you know right now what i'm going to do is turn it over to uh to them and just kind of let them give everybody an idea as to you know what they're into you know why they're here and, and the information they want to share with us so dreadfro d can you can you go ahead and give us a little information you you're not going to ask me why they call me dreadfro yeah why do they call you dreadfro well, d i'm going to tell the audience if you stay if you stay if you listen to this whole thing because it's because uh, if it's important to me that you know you are free, I will I will I will let you know why they call me Dreadful D. Okay? <laughs> All right, we got to rhyme at, at the at the end. Okay, that's a promise, and I don't do this. I don't. I, I wear this cover every time I'm out now, because I don't want to scare nobody. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna call you. I'm 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 known as Dreadful D on on the on the airways, so. Uh, yeah, um, let's see. About yourself, Back to, 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 ser to, 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 to serious, to serious. Um, I always like humor. You know, humor is good for the for the for the human heart. You know, it really is, and we need really more humor, because um, you know we've all you know through this last year, a lot of people have uh, um, um, really finding it hard to to laugh and to to have fun you know i know me personally you know there's a you know got sick family members and things like that and you know this uh this is going to go out to them today you know this is uh you know a moment of silence for you know all of the the ones that sick sick and suffering in and outside of this room and um we always got to be cognizant of uh of uh you know um our ancestors and our friends and our family so you know we we need to really think and kind of lift them up and 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 try to um you know uh encourage them because uh, this is it's tough and that uh that that that's all about what this uh austerity uh uh lifestyle is about is is uh you know not having to uh you know uh psychological you know psych psychologize uh you know the whole phenomena of uh you know the the psychology of consumerism which you know most americans and globally people have uh have uh determined is the right path to to uh you know whatever it is they're searching for neglecting to uh you know uh, uh rather you know go to work for 50 60 hours a week instead of you know you know just some simple things that i've been practicing you know to have time with your kids and you know so there's there's a lot of benefits austerity is not a bad word you know they uh you know, they've turned, you know, the word austerity, uh, uh, you know, into something bad because it just doesn't it doesn't line up with the capitalism capitalist vision. You know, I'm not a capitalist. You know, I'm a human capitalist. As if anything, I want to see the the growth and the production out of uh, mankind, you know, with mankind, you know, not with, you know, mankind and material, you know. So <clears throat> but um, what I want to do now, I want to read you and I, well, I don't. Alex is let, okay, let, yeah, go let ahead. Let him introduce go ahead. himself go ahead, first real quick. <laughs> so the name is Lex Rizza. Lex, I just dropped the first letter from my uh, first name. 
and then Riza is the first two letters from my last name. So that's where that came from. It's a name I've had for many years. That's how a lot of people know me. And I just I began a spiritual journey on myself, just diving deep, trying to figure out how to understand myself, understand the world I'm living in, because I've always felt a little lost. And I just went through many different types of religions, many types of spiritual teachings. And in the end, I'm just looking for truth. And what I'm just trying to accomplish is letting others know the truths that I've discovered and if they're on board with it or if they have more to share with me, <coughs> we, can, we can connect, we can network. But I'm all just about knowledge, sharing and giving knowledge. I like that. I like that you're on your spiritual journey. Uh, if I could offer a suggestion or something that helped me out when I started my journey and know that I'm still on that journey mm -hmm. is find your purpose. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm struggling with. Find your purpose. Find out what your strength is and then pray for your discernment, your strength, your willingness, knowledge, and your purpose. He will guide your steps, man, and you'll be able to walk that walk. It's where your heart is. You just got to line your mind and your heart up. That's it. Purpose. All right. Roger that. All right, man. And what were you going to? Okay. All right. Um... Well, of course, most of what people say is all speculation, right? We got to start there when we try to conversate with each other is that we're all just speculating, right? And there's nothing wrong with speculation. It's, you know, it's about intuition. You know, that goes, that, those are very serious uh, 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 um, psychological and philosophical uh, issues that man have been trying to, you know, understand f throughout the millennium is uh, speculation versus reasoning, right? Um, um, so this is just a speculation. Now, isn't it, isn't it funny or isn't it strange that, you know, approximately one year ago, you know, they were talking about global warming, right? And I'm speculating that, you know, this whole last year was really based on them not being able to tell the people tell the people that, hey, we got to cut 25% of the production in the, in the greenhouse gases off the planet. So, you know, they, dis, they use this as a backdrop to, you know, to actually do that, you know. So, um, but, you know, now that we're a year later, they're going back into the global warming issue. But basically that has been on and void for a whole, for a whole year now. So, um, you know, that's just something for you to think about, you know, not negating the reality of what's going on, you know, in hospitals and nursing homes and, and people's family, you know, and um, if anybody has uh, lost somebody to uh, this, uh, this uh, disease or whatever it, it, it is today, uh, my, my heart goes out to you, you know. Um, so that's, that's point one. That's, that's point one. The point, point two is is that those jobs are never going to come back okay those jobs are well a lot of these 20 you know in, in california for instance 30 percent of the small businesses went out of business do you know how many millions of people are with without a job that won't be able to go back to a job tomorrow that's a lot of people california has 40 million plus people so you do one third of 40 million you know that's probably about you know that's a lot of that's millions of people you know you know what i'm saying um, out of out of out of out of uh, out of work and um, um, so that's point two. Point three is AI is is going to be replacing all of these jobs that people you know that don't that's not in the service sector, um, i.e. phone companies, taxi cabs, and the list goes on and on and on and on and on. Right. So that over the next 10 years, you know, if you've been keeping up with the news, everything is automated through what the 5G network. Right. So so, you know, the 5G network is going to what remove probably another half billion jobs globally. You know what I'm saying? For, for service related people, because, you know, we're just not going to need the bodies. Right. So that's point three. Now, what are they going to do with all of these people that's out of out of work? You know, that that. You know that's that's that that can be speculated in a lot of things. I'm not going to speculate on 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 the purpose or the mentality of the people that of the powers to be. But you know, we it's just something to think about it. So going into how to to uh, um, to uh, 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 proof yourself from any kind of 
artificial man-made or you know recession uh save save they come in with the tanks down the street you know and just taking over things you know um, we still have rights and responsibilities as human beings that that should allow us to at least you know have like when i was a kid they were still teaching you know uh you know uh the 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 basic necessities of life which is water food shelter clothing um probably another thing but i i, I added something onto that and it's called just love for mankind you know we we all need to 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 to, to feel loved um so you know um so i've been i've been practicing that even as a child i always understood um um you know uh the bible verses be be ye not of the world be part not part of the world uh and also say you know don't get get enamored by the materialism or the pride of life and things like that i've always even as a child i i, I understand it so in in, in 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 effect i've probably always practiced that but um so so uh the practice the practice of austerity for me looks like um it's really a psychological thing because you know people you know um have especially in this time and age you know when we when we was kids you know having a, a new pair of shoes was a big thing you know these you know i know kids that got 25 30 pairs of shoes in their thing now is that a, is that too much i think so you know uh, that's probably representative of seven or eight hundred dollars which would be equivalent to a, a month's rent um if you smoke you know just think just do the do the math you know i'm just challenging people to do the math on their spending habits but also as you do that be aware of the psychological challenges that it's going to take for you not to be an incidental shopper going into a store with, with the purpose of getting a tooth, toothpaste, but, you know, you walk out the store, you know, $25 lighter. And then, you know, when you do that, you got to go work $25 for the man. And then, you know, you basically turn yourself into a slave. So today I'm not a slave. You know, I got time to spend and how it looks and the positive things to, to live in like that. And it's hard. I, I, I shop at the secondhand store and buy my underwear from the secondhand store. <laughs> Most people don't do that. Most people don't buy used socks that somebody. But but I, I, I'm like this. If my they, their, if, if their feet couldn't be no worse than mine. So <laughs> it's a it's a thing of, uh, you know, and, and that's that's my psychology, you know. But you know what? I save what? I might buy a pair of socks for $25, 25 cents and go and wash them with some ammonia, wash them out real good. They're, they're nice and wore out, and I can just stick them on my, my stinky feet and put them in my stinky shoes, you know, and just keep on walking, not having to worry about, well, I got to have this and that, and then before you know it, you're $1,000 per month lighter, and then you got to go put another $1,000 in next month because you want to do it all over again. To me, that makes no sense. I'm not a, I'm not a wage slave. You know, the, the, I understand the principles of, of uh, God when he says that, you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, when he's told the humankind, he says, be fruitful, and multiply. That also applies to the tree, the fruit, fruit trees and the, um, and the, the plants and uh, the animals and things like that, which, you know, there's still quite a bit of that around. So it shouldn't be hard for people to, you know, actually provide for their, um, you know, um, basic necessities, um, you know, um, if but but like I say, my my biggest challenge is always psychology. It's always a psychological thing. And if you don't think that consumerism is a psychological challenge, try it. That's all that I say. You just try it a little bit. Try to not buy that latte that you've been buying for the last twenty years, you know, and spent, you know, thousands of dollars on just a simple drink like a latte or a pop. You know, and a lot of the things that we eat and consume is basically detrimental to our health anyway. So I, I, that, that's another psychological thing, you know what I'm saying? So, it, 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 you know, we, we, we need to get a paradigm shift in our thinking and, 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 and um, you know, if you want to learn more or anything like that, the answer is right in, inside you. You know, if you like going to work for 40, 50 hours a week and, and don't have time for your kids and don't have time to play with your family and friends, you know, that's, that's on you. But, you know, based on the three points that I said earlier about, you know, the global warming is going to be an issue, you know, um, and before I, I almost forgot, the global warming is going to be an issue. Um, AI is coming in to take a lot of jobs. That's just the reality. But we can, we can roll with the punches. But I'm going to give you a speculation and a prediction from a well-known bank around the world, right? This is a well-known one of the top banks in the world. And this is a prediction that they have for you, brother. 
you Hispanic man, okay? I don't know if you can see, I, I catch stuff like this because it's important to me. Because it's important to me that you know you are free. So I'm going to give you this information for free so you can detangle your mind from, you know, what you think is the reality. But because it's not, you know. And we'll talk about uh, what we got going on as far as. But anyways, this is a short little thing. According to a new study, this was in last year. This is dated September 2nd, 2020. This is according to a new study from the Deutsche Deutsche Bank, minorities are disproportionately impacted in large chunks of blacks and Hispanic people could get shut out of the job, job market. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Job market, okay? Following a bottom-up societal study, the firm found that 70% of blacks and 60% 2% of Hispanics could be underprepared for 86% of jobs globally by the year 2045. Woo! Let, wrap that around your, your mind, right? And continue down the path that the, the trajectory that we are choosing now and speculate on that. They're already preparing for, and if, 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 we don't, if we don't heed and start teaching our children the reality of this world, we're going to be in trouble as a people. And, that, and that's, that's the truth. Well, let us, add, let us hit you on some of these points you, you just made. Go ahead. You want to start it off, Steve, or you want me to start? You had, you had a question now? I just had a statement before he read that. He was talking about um, changing your thinking when consuming. I just believe it's more important, or just as important, to raise your awareness. Like, be more aware of what you're doing. Not just, the, like, because people do impulsive purchases. Or they just, like he said, walk into a store for, like, some toothpaste, and the next thing you know, you're buying a pack of Gatorade and lotion you didn't need and just random stuff. So just... Be more aware, be more intentional with your purchases and just life in general. Just just be aware of what you're doing. Oh, I agree with that. You got something? You want me to go? Well, for one thing, those projections that you that you talked about, and, and it's the same thing with, with, you know, this is a conversation I have with other people about this AI. If you go back, if you go back in the early 1900s when they were, when they were talking about automobiles, Somebody riding with a horse and buggy couldn't comprehend the changes. They, they thought that, hey, that's the only way to farm. That's the only way. To... See, what, what people have to understand is times change with the times. You know, so, so as technology improves, people's skill sets improve. So what, they, what, 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 that, what that thing that you just read about Deutsche Bank is saying is that they expect that blacks and Hispanics are going to stay at the same expertise and same training levels that they have today mm -hmm. see black people and hispanic people derek or darren we 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 have we have been dreadful dreadful i'm sorry we, 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 <laughs> we have we have always been able to acclimate to the to the to our surroundings because if you think about it you go back 150 years with slavery do, do, do you ever do you believe that those people that enslaved us 150 years ago could have ever comprehended that black people would get to the level of, of, of knowledge and education to become the president of the United States? You know, so, so, so what I'm saying is you can't you can't look at these projections and take them as concrete. But what, what I mean, Deutsche Bank or that, that 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 study might be telling black people. You know, prepare yourself. That's, that's exactly what it's doing. You know, but it's not saying. But it's not saying that this is. The, you know, that that you're you you're, you're destined to to, right. to not have jobs in 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 twenty five years. What it's saying is, hey, you know, you you know, because I don't see. You know, I, hey man, I worked in corporate America for many years, and I don't see though that 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 my the, our white counterparts are any more educated or or or, or skilled than, than 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 the black people that I've worked with. So, I mean, all of these studies, man, and, and, and as a black person, I do. I am so sick of hearing 
people put these projections and put these studies out about us as though as though the white is the standard and the rest of us are 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 are, are, are somehow crawling and scratching to try to meet that meet this standard because mm -hmm. I, I i look at those people that stormed the capitol i don't see a lot of intelligent highly skilled people i understand there yeah they arrested a lawyer and they arrested but 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 those people are no more qualified and skilled to to do any job than, than, than i am or you are or anybody else is but but we, so we first off we got to stop letting this system tell us that that you know that, that somehow we're so much further behind because I know that I'm not further behind than any, you know I'm not I know that I'm on the same level as anybody you know so what do you think about well that you made it a couple of good I, I appreciate you recognizing the resiliency of African people mel melanated people I that that is very key to what we're, we're, we're trying to do is is but one thing that Europeans have that black people have is the narrative you see what I'm saying so that as long as the narrative keeps focusing on where it's, its projections are going they really are in a better going to be in a better position for the, the little the, the few jobs that will be available so you can't really use intelligence as far as uh, you know because the narrative is not intelligent you know what I'm saying? So you can't really use that as far as, uh, you know, predicting your value against them. Um, but but as far as uh, the technology, you know, um, I think, you know, you know, I you know, if I could get rid of my car tomorrow and walk or bike, you know, this is austerity thinking here. Right. It ain't got nothing to do with about being being um poor or walking around with holes in your, your socks or anything like that. It's just a, it's a mindset. You know, um, um, if I could get rid of my car tomorrow, I would do it. But unfortunately, uh, and unfortunately, I need, I got to, I, I still work. I don't ask. And another thing about me, I don't ask the government for nothing. You see what I'm saying? I work 16 hours a week, and I still pay all <laughs> my bills. I don't think a lot of Americans can do that. I spend a lot of time with my grandchildren. You see, these things are important to me, and that's we got to get back to that. So as far as technology, you know, I think that as far as the global warming concern, as far as the internal combustion engine back in, you know, the early part of the last century, you know, is, has actually turned out to be a, a spike in the earth. You know what I'm saying? It, it, you know, th that's what the big fight is about, is that people wanting to drive down the road, you know, 50 miles one way in a, in a eight-cylinder SUV going 70 miles an hour just to get to work, you know? They, that stuff that that's not going to work in the future. To me, it's, that's not going to work. We need to we need to be a little bit more creative on how we operate with our with ourselves. Because I'm of the thing that you know you know melanated people don't really have to go outside of their community to to make a living. You know that's that's a misnomer. You know uh, we got a lot of talent and, and things like that. We just need to learn how to harness that. You know and, and unfortunately, I think we're going to be forced to do that, or or perish. You know. Um, that, that's just going to be the reality of, uh, of, you know, where I come from, at least. I, I don't really, you know, uh, have, you know, any, uh, any prospect on what's going on outside of my community because, you know, to me right now it's, it's race first, you know, you know what I'm saying? We got we to gotta think about that. So, uh, you know, I don't, I don't operate in that narrative no more. It's, it's all about me, uh, you know, trying to, you know, navigate my own life and then maybe pass something down in posterity to, to my children so they won't have to go through the same problem because in 25 years they will be the adults in the room and um and you know uh it, we, we we need to get it in right now and that's that's what me and alex is uh we're doing when you know we're trying we're trying to uh, uh organize ourselves to a point where we can understand just you know basic civics and basic history and things like that so um you know um it's it's a, it's a path for me, you know. It's working for me. I know it won't work for everybody, you know, because uh, you know, you know, everybody wants to still eat cheeseburgers and, and things <laughs> like that. But, you know, that that's fine. But you know, um, you know, uh, 
you know, don't be one of the ones that's that's uh, like the Bible says, you know, being pregnant when the tribulation comes because that's that's it's going to be too late by then. You know, right now is the time for you to really wake up and, and, and think about how you're spending your time and, you know, how you operate in your labor and all of that stuff. And don't be a slave. You know, you don't have to be a slave to this stuff. You know, if you know who you are, you know, you're not a slave no more. You know, you know, so uh, that's what we're working on. You know, we're you know, me personally, I'm going to remove the narrative. It's the narrative doesn't work for me no more. It shouldn't work for nobody. So always be cautious on people that are using that black and white thing because that's you know that's 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 a trick of the enemy. You know, um, you know it, it, it takes the focus off you, puts the focus on on them, and and that that's they love it. You know they they've commodified that. So you know you know that's that, that's my understanding today. And you know um, you know I, I I hope you know some of you guys out there you know family friends could you know can grow with us. We're we're, we're gonna grow. You know we're 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 we're, we're we're all right, you know. We 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 want to be autonomous in this in this world. You know, we want to be we 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 want we want to understand our own natural rights. We we want to understand who we are on this planet. You know that God God gave this this world to everybody, not just not just a few that want to hoard everything, you know. But you know that then again, that's going back to the narrative. It ain't nothing about uh you know um you know uh, coveting anybody else which is a sin you know to, to cover somebody else's property or ass or whatever you know whatever it is that you cover but yeah you know i can go on and on and on and on well, let's steve get in here again well instead of going on and on let's get back on topic you know we've been you, you mentioned an austere lifestyle and you mentioned making yourself a recession proof I really haven't heard anything to address those two things that you said you was going to come on here and talk about. What, now, to, to, to be recessed? It, it, it was, you know, your conversation has been general and all over the place. Okay. Let's bring up some of these things on recession proof. Let, okay, okay. Let, let, well, okay, look, okay, what, what, what is the minimum amount of money that you that, that you can make without having okay, to, to qualify going, to pay we're taxes? We're going to answer questions. No, 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 I'll tell you, 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 Steve, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, because I'm going to tell you how you to recess your proof yourself. Okay, we're going to get back to that. I thought I've already given, like, he I thought I thought he gave us a little few examples of Okay. You know, incidental incidental shopping is is one way you recess your recess proof because that money could have went into the bank or into some gold or some okay. silver or something what like does, that. Okay, I'm gonna ask you this question again: What does it take, literally? We're on here. It's a dialogue to destiny. It's okay. not about you know talking about theories and thoughts. You got to bring some facts here to the table. Well, the fact what what the fact does the, it take the fact go ahead go ahead to be recession proof. It, it 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 it's gonna take a psychological uh, damage to to get out of the the shit that we're in right now. It's gonna take you to psychologically change your mind 100 percent and stop chasing after the narrative. Okay. And see, once you get past that, everything is easy. You know, once once we once we once we put down our beliefs, what once we put down? Well, I'm I'm pra I'm already practicing this, Steve. I'm, I'm already practicing it. It's not like I'm but, coming up to a to a critical moment of my life. I'm already practicing that, and I'm just trying to tell the people that that it's not it's 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 not as easy as you think to change the narrative to to focus on you. See, that's what needs to happen. We need to stop focusing on that, and then we need to start focusing on us. You see what I'm saying? And stop and stop being slave wage laborers to the to us to, need to do. Well, if you work, if you if you if you work a job, right? Do the math. You like do you like soda? You do you like what what do you what do you like? What what do you like? What do you like that you got to have like every day? That that you don't need. Cigarettes. Cigarettes. Okay. $10 a day, right? You stop smoking. You're gonna have to go through a psychological thing, right? Yeah, physical. Okay, okay, physical. okay. So, so see, that's what I'm saying. You, it always starts there. It okay. always starts with but, the appetite. But even continuing to smoke cigarettes, check this out. There's some things that you gonna need, even if you quit smoking cigarettes. And that's six, the way eight, you recess six, recess, recess your proof. hours a week. Ain't gonna get it. See, so you have to. It does to me. Okay, it does. <laughs> okay, it does for you. I, I, I like to have more. You but have to. I'm good. I'm good. I don't. I don't. I don't have a psychological problem with me working 16 hours. I, I'm good. I, I. I. Man, I study. I'm that monk that you was talking about. That's in at home flipping through pages of, of obsolete characters. I'm that man. I'm that person. 
Go so ahead, I, I think one thing to point out with this is um, or a point he said, but like he didn't say it specifically this way, but a point he's, he's pretty much saying is be conscious of your spending. So that's one thing everybody can begin to do. Be conscious of your purchases, where a big bulk of your paycheck is going, and then what your your daily spending habits. And keep track of that for a good like 30 days, two months, and you'll see a pattern. And then you can start to eliminate the excess that you don't need. And then if, if you got a 40 hour a week job, you can start saving astronomical amount of fiat. So when a recession hits, you got five, six, seven months, eight, two years of, of mortgage or rent to pay. You see? That's how you recess-proof yourself. It's going to take a psychological thing. That, you see that look you're giving me right now? No, I, what, I, what I would like to. I keep hearing the same thing over. You, haven't, that, heard, you haven't heard me out No, yet, okay, go ahead, bro. Because you keep interrupting. I'm, I'm and, sorry. I'm sorry, Steve. My old friend, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> what does it take to be recession-proof, especially during retirement? If you make $50,000 a year when you go into retirement, you better have $40,000 saved up. See, you've got to reduce your debt. It's not just your spending. You got to reduce your debt so you can raise your credit score. I don't have debt, bro. Okay. I don't. Have, okay. I haven't. I haven't. Okay. Back to this point that of practice. <laughs> I haven't given one penny. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, hold on Steve, I don't let you talk after this. This is no, this is no, very no, important. Let me talk, one penny. <laughs> one penny in, in in eleven years to any kind of creditor. You see what I'm saying? That's psychological warfare right there, bro. I haven't given one penny. In 11 years to any kind of credit card or any kind of loan or anything like that. So, so come on now. I, I'm serious well, about that. But this. let him get his, okay, let him get sorry, his, his comment out, man. He keeps going back to the same thing, though. Because I have to start over again. Right, ahead, so bro. you can my, catch it my, from, my the from the beginning. <laughs> from the beginning. Fun, How much does the person need during a recession to have at the bank to have put their hands on to call themselves recession proof? See, it's more than just a word. It's work you've got to put in. See, there's some actions that go into that. See, every man that's worked for at least 10 years should have eighteen dollars to $22,000 put in there so he has a year of expenses set aside. See, when you tell somebody about becoming uh, 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 recession-proof, you make sure they have the information so they can start working towards that. It's not just changing the mindset. There's more to it than that. See, we want people to change their minds and run out here on the streets, man, when they're ill-equipped mm -hmm. and not informed. See, this is where the information part comes in there. You bring your debt down. You raise your credit okay. score. You know what I'm saying? If you're a you understand. You got to understand. You got to understand. Okay, maybe not. But still, you said recession-proof. And you're talking about recession-proof in the capital world. So if it's not what you're about... We, we, can, we can drop that topic and we can go on li to living an austere lifestyle, which the two don't match up. Because like you said, you're working 16 hours a week because you're not that impressed with money. and You get just enough of what you, you need. Mm -hmm. see, you, see, me, I'm that type of person. When I think about austere lifestyle, I think about those people in my family. Mm -hmm. And some of my friends that wanted to live that lifestyle. See, you don't lay up with somebody and have kids and then decide, I want to back off this thing. Because you don't brought people into this world. Right. You know? I got, oh, so you're, good so, point, good point. so, so, so when, you when you choose to make that, mm -hmm. you're self-abnegating. I'm choosing this for self. See, you don't mm -hmm. see a monk, like you mentioned, mm -hmm. and like I mentioned, up in there with his kids and his wife. Because it's something that he's choosing to do. The mediocre and menial and the minimal, uh, minimalized life. Okay. The minimalistic life, see? You don't do that. See, what type of job are you seeking when you're doing that? I'm, I'm, I'm looking for 40 plus. You see what I'm saying? So I can do that thing. So I can create the future. Mm -hmm. So when I go, I know they can continue on in comfort. See, I struggle now, so you struggle less later. Okay. Now, I'm not going to continue a generational struggle. See, when you come there, you become a burden on your family and life, man. Because usually the cat that's living the austere lifestyle, man, when it comes time for a family reunion, man, he wants to hop in the car but offer no gas money. He wants to lay up in a hotel and doesn't want to spend any money on the hotel. He wants, he's hungry wants to eat too. <laughs> but ain't got the money to eat when we out there traveling. Mm -hmm. And if it's grandma's funeral, he might need an outfit. 
So we're gonna have to buy that because you can't be wearing those secondhand drawers. That's what that and extra ammonia, money comes from. And those ammonia <laughs> wash socks, man. Because you ain't coming to grandma's like that, bro. Because I love you, and so did she. All and right. she prayed and expected for more than that. Austerity, you know. Usually that cat's a couch surfer, man. At least he's been in my house, man. He wants to come and lay on my house for two or three days. And then two or three months later, I got to kick his behind out. And he got a nerve to have an attitude with me. All right, you know. Oh, man, in death. The nerve of you to die. Mm, and leave. Right. Mm. Leave your raggedy ass remains here for somebody else to bury <laughs> or burn. See, me, if you come here with all this stuff here, choosing a lifestyle, man, where you say all you need is a candle, a cot. In a bowl of rice every day because you're living this austere lifestyle like the monk or the Buddhist monk waiting for people to come and give them sticky rice wrapped up in a banana leaf or a hobo lifestyle just working good enough to get some baked beans or something like that. You know, you come to my house, you don't get a lamp. You get a small candle, a birthday candle. Your cot, <laughs> your cot is a nail of beds, man, because you don't want your behind getting comfortable up there. Dad. And your rice, well, I'm going to eat rice with you. But mine's going to have some other snake steak and gravy on it. Understand me? Watch me get fat, see? You want to be austere? Oh, you want a life with no luxuries and little to comfort, man? I can help with that. I can help with that. See, this here, this cat can't give me no advice about being recession-proof. The fool ain't life-proof. <laughs> And that's my else, and that's my mindset. <laughs> you talking about somebody else? And it ain't gonna change. <laughs> yeah, I see it. Yeah, <laughs> and it's clear. Okay, and don't okay. tell me you ain't come. We came from the same neighborhood. Tell me you don't know that one. Well, you well first. You tell me it's hot. It's hot as them Whitfields don't work. The ones who raised you, you, I think, I think you got the whole word or the whole concept. <laughs> no, I'm just telling what you said. No, I'm just telling what you said. I got no, it in no, text. No, I got no, the text no, no, now. That's, that's, I got uh, the text that's, now. That's, that's that's not me. I, I hope you wasn't trying to describe me. Bro. No, I just said the people that are in my life and my friends. I would have no, said. No, I, I understand that. I don't know what that is. That's trifling to me. But that ain't. That ain't. That ain't. We see this, right? That's. Oh yeah, y'all see it, man. Right. I'm with you. I'm with All you. Right. I'm with you to see, but see, but I you know that that's my, that's an unconscious brother right there. You see, see what I'm saying? I, I need I need to, when because, I talk to well, somebody because I need to tell got, them the way out. You got to bring some consciousness I don't need to, to the table. You know what I'm saying? You got to bring some consciousness to the table. I don't need to tell to them the what's table, wrong, you know? man. But I need Darren, to tell like, them what's like, right. I want to make sure the brother don't get left, but he gets right. Well, let me let me ask Darren this: What, like like say someone say someone like myself? You know, I would say that I'm I my whole adult life i was kind of i would probably say i was more of a capitalist you know and i think you you that's what you always like to call me anyway you know so say say you know now that i'm out of uh corporate america kids are grown and and, and I, I have an interest in, in in living that austere life that that life that 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 you know what some people might call off-grid lifestyle mm -hmm. What 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 advice would you give someone that 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 is completely? I mean, they know that this is something that they want, but they have no idea as to how to survive in well, that world. Once you get through the psychological thing, you know, I, uh, the psych the psychology of. Say saving your money, you know that's the psychology of saving your money. But does someone off grid put uh, their money in uh, banks? It's though? not. It's not about being off grid. It, it's. It's not. You know. I mean, I'm off grid to a lot of you, but I'm. As you see, I still got lights, and I go home, and I can take a bath, and and lay down in my own bed, and and you know have comp access to everything that you have. I'm not talking. That's not what I'm talking about. What I'm. What I'm talking about is just like Alex said. He says just. Is, is because you can't understand what I'm practicing if you don't go through this if you're not willing to go through the psycho psychological brain fuck well how do you get someone to, to even but, 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 but what I'm saying what what I'm saying is that a way to get there is to understand the value of your friends and your family because of the, the greater world you know is going to be what it is we shouldn't be lovers of the world right so so 
the thing that is of value, right? What is a, what is a, is a value to you? What is your value call as far as why am I saving this money? You might be saving this money for like Steve, you know, to, to have the finer things in life and to make sure that he's comfort into retirement. And that's fine. I'm not saying that there's nothing wrong with that. But for me, you see what I'm saying? I'm still living on a basic understanding of, of my day-to-day -day survival. I like to eat, and I eat simple. I don't eat out a lot more. I'm not perfect. I still got a lot of habits that I, that I can, that, that, but, but, but see, if I was working 40 hours a day, a week, and it wasn't nothing wrong with working 40 hours, it ain't not, if that's what you do, some people love their job. No, no problem. Unfortunately, I don't find jobs that I love. So, you know, I, I, you know that I, I can really put 40 in. So it's, it's, a, it's a cost, a value call at that point. But back to understanding and being able to develop and to grow organization, and which is the family and the friends and the community ultimately, you know, um, um, and to be able to use that excess money to see that, you know, instead of giving it away, to people that don't give a f about you, like going to the chicken shack, they they're gonna feed you some 50 year old chicken and charge you ten dollars, and you're gonna go out with a smile on your face to people that don't give a damn. See, that's a practice. I don't do that no more. If the people don't look like me, and I can't see some people that that you know they trying to diversify their portfolio as far as hiring practice, I, I don't generally go into that store. That's a practice. See what I'm saying? So it's a lot of things involved with how I do my thing. It's going to be different with everybody. I'm just taking it, and I want to take it to an extreme, so I do have the time to have time with my grandchildren, which is a value of to me, to have time more. Hopefully that we can, my family can come together a little bit better, and I don't have to say, well, I got to go to work now. Or I don't, I can't, you know, um, I got to do this and I got to do that, and, you know, you know, you, you, you see what I'm saying? So, so how one would proceed to get in, you got to ask yourself, what do you value? Do you value going to work for 60 hours? You got a car and a house and all this shit, but you, you're dead on the inside. And because you don't spend no time with your family. You see what I'm saying? Well, so it's a, it's a value call. It's a value call. What do you value? If you value chicken chicken nuggets, feeding your your kids chicken nuggets, that's your call. See, that's I why I work. I, I go to work, you know, and I'm not saying I'm tickled. I like my job. I'm not tickled pink about it. It's called work, not party. So I go there to work because working works, man. Um, I, I'm fortunate enough to have early enough hours that, man, that when my kids got home from school, Mm -hmm. Dinner was almost done because I like to cook. That was my stress relief. So I got time to sit and eat with my kids. I got to coach my Thank kids. You, so I've got a chance to do all that. And working didn't get in the way of that. Working made that happen. Mm -hmm. Oh, one more thing, Steve. Yeah, it doesn't. What, how I do it is not going to work for everybody because right, I'm right. 50. I'll be 55 this year. All my kids are grown. Mm -hmm. And... I got through that under the system with the homes and all of that stuff. Um, so, yeah, I'm in a unique position. I'm in a, I'm in a real u unique position um, as far as uh, uh, not having to go to work for 40 hours a week. My I'm, in a, I'm, a, I'm in a real, but, but you know what? I'll be damned if I pass down the time that I spend with my grandkids. See, oh, that's, yeah, that's yeah, my right. value call is that yeah, that's see, what I want to do for the rest of my, my life. My two oldest are 37 and 38. I want to give them, you know, I want to give my, I want to give my kids wild. some, I want to give my kids, you know. my grandkids something that I wasn't given. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, because that's valuable to me, you know, to give them something in here, not material. Because you can give, you can leave a million dollars to your children that are foolish. And what have you done? You've left a million dollars to foolish children. And they're just going to waste it anyway. Look up Ezekiel or, or Ecclesiastes 2.18. It talks about leaving your... your you see, so we, we, we have to work. The dynamic of, of it is vast. But see, we have to begin to start at least looking at it. How are we spending our money? How, and the, and the things that we consume, and see, that's a whole other area of health. You see what I'm saying? Because we are like some of the most unhealthy people in the country. Smoking and drinking and, and stress. We got enough stress 
from the man. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Those are the things that we have to be, they talk about a new word again, mitigate. We need to mitigate all of those things. And you know what, it's only gonna take, it, see, that's what I'm saying, Steve. That's, this is my mantra from that great song of, of the, of, it's important to me that you know you are free. See, that's where my energy, I can pour my energy into you now. You see what I'm saying? And, and see, that's why I live the way I do. And that's why I study. That's why I, I want to bring something to the table, brother. It ain't all about money. Because cause I, I believe in that principle of God, that God is a, is a very generous God. That's what he said. He said we were supposed to live life and live it abundantly. That's right. That's right. But understand that we're spiritually not I'm living it, bro. I'm, <laughs> not I'm, I'm not the one, I'm not the one know, that's not living that so, man. I'm know. happy with my life, bro. Well, Al, you had something you wanted to say? I was going to ask you to ask me the question you asked him. I forget what question was that. <laughs> but uh, oh, what what do you do to um, to to attract and bring other people? No, about the declutter or the going off grid. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So the initial steps one would take, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring it back to that. The initial steps someone should take will be to declutter your house. Like if you if you're retired, you've mm -hmm. clearly got some time on your hands now, so you can start throwing away, going through all those papers that you've been saving for some reason that you thought you need them, that day's never gonna come. So you can remove that extra, like just clothes that you don't wear, but you just save them for some reason. Start getting rid of those, donate them. Look at all the extra knickknacks and things you have in your house. Like it was, it was what, maybe cute or sentimental when you got it, but like you can, you can get rid of that. Once you pass, you're just gonna pass on your, your basically garbage to somebody else. Now they gotta hold on to this and they gotta find somewhere to put it. It's be going just getting passed around and around. So just declutter and just try to have less in your house. And then once you have less in your house, you realize you won't need to spend as much money mm. to buy certain things. And then you can eventually get yourself to a point where like, you know what, maybe I can go live in a hotel for a month. See how I manage that with just the bare minimums. And then from there you just Go far, like go camping more. Go live in a tent for a month or two. <laughs> go backpacking, do stuff like that. Those are the things that get you see, prepared I, I, for an yeah. off grid. Type see, of I personally just don't see the practicality in off grid. And I want to go back to what Darren was talking about as far as it being able, you know, his lifestyle allows him to 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 have time for his kids and this and that. You know, see, I believe that a, a true capitalist has the same thing because a capitalist is someone that makes money with capital. They don't uh, see. So somebody that that's a, a true capitalist has investments that that, that 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 builds their portfolio. They don't have to work as much. You you see a lot of very wealthy people. They, they, they do it in their ads. They'll say, hey, do you want more time with your kids? Do put. Put, put, you know, join us here, and we'll we'll show you how to make money when you're while you're out at the beach with your kids. Mm -hmm. See, but you know, so you don't have to live the, 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 this this life. I mean, I for me personally, like I said, I'm not saying that 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 you know, I I I don't see the importance because this if 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 this pandemic has told me one thing, it's told me that I need to refocus. It does, it, it has because you know I know that that that. Things are, I agree with, with my brother. I, things are never going back to, at least in my lifetime, to what we have expected and, and, and just assumed would always be there in American culture. It's just not going back. So I understand that I have to learn to live different, live within my means, but I never want to live a life where, like, I would, like we had a discussion before the podcast. We were talking, I told Darren, the life that you want to live is like a bird. It's okay. Dreadful. Huh? Oh, dreadful! I keep, I keep, I keep, I keep forgetting. You know, outed you now, man. I mean, you know, I, I've been calling him that my, his by his name for fifty something years. So, you know, but the thing is, is uh, you know, a bird. See, a bird spends its whole life just trying to survive. They got to worry about predators. They got to, they have to eat a certain amount of their food of their body weight every day, or they'll die. So their whole life is about finding something to eat and at the same time watching predators. See, that's not a lifestyle that I think human beings are. No, no, I mean, we can, uh, but, we can yeah, disagree. But, but, but Dak, you do live a life like that. No, well, you, you can. 
One thing that one advantage that a bird or an animal has over the human is that they are sovereign. And they don't know that they are, but they live like as though that they they well, own the damn but, but, they own the damn world. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, but they're you but see they, what I'm saying? That's and a one, misconception. And one there, and man. one thing a bird and animals you got, you got animals thousands. don't do is is that they do do not you got thousands they, of people they live in, every they live day. in harmony for the most part with 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 they with, do with, the, with each other but you but they and got you got thousands of people all over this country every day Darren <coughs> that lets animals know that they don't have sovereignty when well, they pull that, that trigger well, that's, and blow that, the that's, and that's, shoot, the, right? that's the sickness of, of man I mean no, we, that's a whole different discussion Dak. That. <laughs> no, I that mean is, they, they, see there's no true sovereignty if a mouse gets in your house what are you gonna no. do you're gonna put a trap down and, and kill him well right no he's a pest then to you huh He's, he's a, a pest, pest to me. But, but in see, his mind, even, that, mind, even, that, mind, even that mouse, because of his sheer being born un, into this realm of existence, has rights. <laughs> every, you know, animal, every animal does you, have rights. You, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> it, so so it's, it's you looking at him like a pest, just like how we are pests, really. People look at us as pests, right? And well, just look, just, at, you, you see what I'm saying? That, you see the sickness of, of that person of that Steve like was that? describing as a pest <laughs> when he was talking about that austere <laughs> life. <laughs> I look at that person as a pest, yes. Well, but the whole off grid thing is really it's a personal choice. <laughs> like, if that's not for you, then that's that's just not for you. But well, I know, but, but, but the thing is, is sure. respect that though. Yeah. No, I, I never really push my ideas like that on people. It's just it works for me, and I like having less because I'm not really big into consumerism. I don't want to. Just blow my money on random things because it's just it's not important. And then that and that's just, that in turn led me to just wanting less and less because I know I can survive with less. But and did less. you grew up in a house where you had two parents working out, and, and and between me and your mom, we provided you guys a decent life. Yeah. So so what I'm saying is is the reason I mean, would you want to deprive? Your children or the children that in your response that you're responsible for of the life that you have. What are you depriving them of? No, right? I mean you no, see no. what I'm saying. You got to look it, at it, it like that because if you go on if you go on with the it's with the balance of the world, you're not depriving them of much because no. this this the things that we think that we are depriving our children is the things that psychologically destroying them. We yeah. got to understand the the the, depends, the motive man. and the action of everything that we take into our senses, man. Through our eyes, through our ears. You know, I'm not a hip hop fan. I I believe personally, and I will say this, because everybody listens to it. It's the biggest music on the planet by far. But to me, <laughs> if I had choice, I would never bring that stuff into my house. Because I think that psychologically, and I see it in my own children, it's a detriment to them. You Rap see what I'm saying? Music, not hip hop. You, you, well, whatever. You, you know. <laughs> You know, you know what I'm saying. So, so feeding your kids junk all day, which I see every day. I hate when it, I, but what can I? I'm do not about talking it? about it's. It's not. I'm not talking about material. No, no. You want you want to give the kids the things That's that right. you couldn't have. Yeah, and well, I, I completely well, understand that. And for me, I I feel once you start to give kids more and more, they become mm. less grateful, and they want more and more. And they they're trying to compete now with the, the other kid down the block instead of just being happy and satisfied. Well, that's with what indi they that's have. an individual kid, you know. That's most kids that well, get that. You got something you want to ask, Steve? Kind of, kind of, Steve, kind of over here, quiet, man. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, I, you know me, I like to stay on topic, and this kind of went around, you know, went in some different areas. So I needed to just sit back and listen, and find where it was relative to what we were supposed to be talking about. And, it, and it, it fit in loosely at times, but, you know, it's time for me because Darren's passion, excuse me, Dread Fro D. <laughs> That's right. Dread. And Lex Rizzi. Dread. You know, Lex Rizzi, these gentlemen are passionate. So I don't want to sit here and waste a whole lot of energy pushing against them. I'm trying to figure out how we can meld this energy and push some of these things forward. Where I would differ at, man, I know everybody – that needs my help and everybody in my community does not look like me. So it's not just for me only, not for people who look like me only. Those people that really truly have a vested interest in the community and wanna see the whole community thrive. See, everybody who looks like me doesn't have that. That's right. Some of these have some, some people have some real selfish outlooks and have a real, uh, well, why should I? 
if I can't get more? Why do I have to have the same slice as everybody else? So then they become a, an unwilling participant in the efforts, the dream, the vision, the mission. <clears throat> See, then they're, 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 they can't buy in. See, I need people that want to buy in, contribute, and bring this thing to fruition from, from just thought and talk to something that's actually being done. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's going to take it's going to take a, um, a mosaic of people, and they are not all going to be black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, yeah I, I, I see where you're going with that. <laughs> right. but, but you know what? We got to think like this, though, Steve. It's got to start at home, bro. Yeah. Because we've been locked out of a system, man, by all, all everybody else. That's the way I look at it. That's why I'm me, in this Me community. against the world. Me against the world. But that's why you I'm trying to create this community. It's not like I that, ran that, out to that's, the suburbs. That's a grand vision what you're talking here. about. But that's a, that's getting, a grand vision. I mean, but I, I'm going to start in my family. Hopefully it has the uh, hopefully it has the pebble in the pond effect, man, where you have this, yeah, these centric definitely. circles that come out like Love this. Don't got no but color, I have brother. to start in the pond in my backyard. That's right. Love And when I look to my left. Love is colorblind, bro. When I look left, right, you know, forwards, behind, man, I see I see Asians, Nigerians, Liberians, man. I see yeah, Vietnamese, yeah. Hmong, yeah. I see white, I see Polish. I don't see I a lot of them Swedish. coming to help you, though, bro. You know what I'm saying? I mean, <laughs> That's all that I'm saying. I'll put it like That's this here, man. You'd be surprised. Well, how might, my you, neighbors. You, 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 might, you, might, you might find some, man, but we got, we, what we're dealing with here, uh, uh, Steve, we're dealing with a whole different psychology of people. Okay. You see what I'm saying? But my thing, we, I'm going to say something. Our brain something. has been so much under pressure for, for so long. Like I said that last week, it doesn't fit in nobody else's narrative. We got to create a, a something new out of. Like out of I that. said last week, man. Why? I'm not trying to fit. Why? No, why? I'm not doing why? That. Why is it when I'm walking downtown, I have people who look like me that speak to well, me less than the people who ig don't look is, like ignorance me? Ignorance is, a, is okay? the same thing, man. Okay, so therefore, I take the willing. Ignorance is colorblind. You know? Colorblind. I take the willing. I can do some. I can do so much more well, with somebody you, is, with somebody who's willing than to spend a whole bunch of time trying to convince somebody. Look at look at look at Steve. That back on true. your thing. You got two brothers right here, mm -hmm. and we 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 bringing it. You see what I'm saying? You got two brothers on the other side of the fence. Let's bring it together now and close the deal, right? You see that? You see? But how does that look to you, though, Steve? How how is that going to look to you? That's, you, you see what I'm saying? Because we, we both and we all, everybody in the black community or melanated community has good ideals. But we haven't been, because psychologically we've never been able to close the deal. So, so we have to start as an embryo, as a nucleus. You see, right out the mother's womb. We have to understand that. We can't have all of these grand philosophies and things about how economics and the, the system works. No, no, no. You got to know that you was a baby first. You got to know that you was a baby and that we all babies and we all got to start. This is, the, this is how the new age is going to look for us. We have to first separate what we believe from reality, right? And then we have to change that narrative. Two simple things that we have to do. And when, when we can do that and if we can agree that we can do that and won't have, have to fight about that no more, we can move. We have to separate the narrative Totally. And do you believe, do you believe that both lifestyles are codependent on each other? Well, I do mean, you do you because see I'm a person there that that, that I, I believe that I believe that, that that someone that's that's a capitalist or somebody that's caught in the in, not, in, in, in the in the in the in the system as you keep saying or whatever. I believe that I, I believe that, that that person is as essential no, to, that, to that's to, fine. I'm I'm not I'm not I'm not saying that I just don't practice that lifestyle. But of, do, of, of, of promoting, you, does your, promoting, does your lifestyle rely on other people? Hold on, hold on, that, hold on, hold on. Don't. I don't promote my lifestyle as a speculation of future growth. You see what I'm saying? Because I, I try to stay right here. You see what I'm saying? That, that's what the stock market is and this whole concept of retirement could is. That? Could you I'm repeat that one time? I want to make I, sure. I don't, my, I don't live my lifestyle with the speculation of future growth, whether that's money or wealth or anything like that. 
You see what I'm saying? I have my own ideal about how that comes about, and it's not good. But if we could talk at all after camera about that on how how the capital societies rape the third world countries all around the world, take their resources, take their inheritance, and bring it back to put it in a 401k plan. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? That's the way I look at it. That's why I'm not with that. Because because it's it's, it's all devilish. It's all devilish. You got a 401k plan, but you don't understand that somebody on the other side is, is losing. See, I don't, so, I, bro, <laughs> see, you, you took me there. No. <laughs> I'm sorry, Steve. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just messing with you now. <laughs> but Steve, see, man, we got to. You know what's got me messed no, up. No, back, 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 oh, wow. back to we, the capital. No, no, no. If, if the capitalist, if the capitalist <laughs> motive, I don't want, I wouldn't want everybody that got money's money. Because I, I would, I would consider some of that money blood money, right? Just like the, 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 I'll you know. it out later. The, the, but, but listen, but listen. But I'm not saying that, I'm not saying that I couldn't appreciate somebody that has a vision that got money to operate, but I don't operate with anybody be just because they say they got a dollar. I don't do that because I got principles about myself today, brother. I got principles. I got values about myself. I'm not going to take money from somebody I know is selling drugs in the neighborhood. I would never do that. But if a brother start a business and he's legit, yeah, right? no problem. Help, help the cause. I'm just doing my little part, man. My little part. I got a little part to do. In, the, in, this, in, this, in this birth, man. I got a little part. And that's what I want to stick to. My motives is not money. My, mo my motives is information and passion to people, man. Because it's important to me that you know you are free. You see what I'm saying? That, that, that's that's, that's my, my little... My little thing that I got to do for my family and my friends and the people that want to listen to this. Because I ain't changing. I'm on a trajectory, man, of, 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 of try, trying to detangle my psychology because I hate to think about going into a store and always got to be thinking that I'm a thief. I don't care what they think I am. Well, I, I got a, I got a problem with that. Man, I, I could care less, man. You know what? You're going to get your exercise following me because if I think that's what you're doing, so I'm going to go up, go up, go up I down go every aisle and touch everything <laughs> now. Uh, if you you know what? You're going to go cross-eyed follow me because I'm going to make you earn it. Mm. <laughs> follow, follow me, follow me. I, I earn it, bro. And watch right, me. Man, I'm going to walk I, down. I, I I'm going to touch stuff, I pick get, stuff man. up, set it back down. Nothing ooh, comes ooh. easier than me, bro. See, I, I, I used to work asset but, the, but why would you want <laughs> What, what's what's appealing about what you just said there that nothing comes easy to you what's appealing about a life that, that everything that you do for your existence is a struggle for you well for, f because at like like the whole metaphysical process of being birthed there's always going to be some pain involved in anything that's going to be beautiful brother well, I you know you, you see what I'm saying. And today I choose not to believe that there's virtue in struggle. So once you get on the other side of, of the birth, it's supposed to be life, not struggle. Right. Isn't that the whole thing of, of Jesus dying on the cross? Not to, you know, you let know, me tell you, it, brothers it, it, and it, sisters, it, man, count all trial and tribulation yeah, well, and well, let perseverance right, have right. as a blessing but, but, but and let persevere. Victory, but for a victory, yeah, yeah, right? For, but you got but to go. You got to you go, gotta go through, through something, it. That's right. Man. That's right. You know, you don't have pure gold but without going through the crucible. How many of us are being aborted? How many of us are being aborted before we get before the birth takes place, thinking that there's some kind of virtue in suffering, brother? You see what I'm saying? We, get, we abort ourselves. We're not looking at the victory. People in the church go around starving themselves, whipping themselves because they think it's some kind of virtue with you dying with Christ. No. Christ died so you don't have to, so you can live. Not die. Christ didn't say die with me <laughs> and, then, and then just leave it there. Then we're just going to be hanging up here like this. But what did he say? No, 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 no. I understand that. He said that. die to yourself. Yeah, well, yeah. And, so, yeah, yeah, so, what, what, so and, and in a metaphysical way. In a right, metaphysical die to way. But, but see, die the, the, to your the, virtue, the virtue in suffering. And see, I've done this. I was an alcoholic for 40 years, brother. 
And somehow I thought it was virtuous to go around catch that all we did was drinking and smoking and hiring because I, I think that I had an upper hand on them somehow and could, you know, say, hey, try to pull them out. No, all I did was suffer in there. See, I had to change my, my attitude about dealing with people that, wants, that continue to live in a death. You see, you want, that's, your, that's your thing. Darren's going to go and live now. Dreadful. Because, because dreadful. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. I, you, you, you understand? So it's not no virtue in suffering, brother. Christ didn't die on the cross for you to suffer. And there's no virtue in suffering. You see that tree right there? You see that bark on it? Yeah. That's its protection. You know how it gets that bark? From going through fractures, going through, going through trial and tribulation. See, it can't stand without it going through that. Yeah, and that's that, and, that, and that, just, that was his question. Just, that was his like question. Just like he was saying about kids that have too much. They haven't been through enough suffering. Well, they haven't well, been through well, enough well, we, trial and tribulation. Like, we're going to suffer here kids, on earth, bro. That's why they can't persevere. You know, how, See, how many of people are suffering right now? You know, and, 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 and are wallowing in it and, and, and think that there's some kind of virtue in it. Some kind of some kind okay, of silver now, lining now, now which for me. One, okay, you, you drew two pictures out of the one story. Now, are they wallowing in it or are they calling it virtuous? Uh, I, hey, I wallowed in it. I wallowed in it for a long time, so I know it's possible for a person for a person to 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 not look at life as victorious okay. and just and just it's called self pity. You, you know what I'm okay. saying? That's, that's why somebody that's wallowing in that's your that's why somebody's got to come and talk to you. Well, See, that's, here's, that's here's, why here's, the information. Here's this thing, man, and this is what I will put on Christians, man. Don't mess with that person. That person's miserable. Misery love company. Hell yeah, they love comp misery loves company. Just don't get caught up in it. No. Have a word with them. No, every, every, everybody's got value. Value to me, man. It, 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 Everybody, it, it, but I got to learn a different approach. It, 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 and, and break bread with that person. Just don't get caught up in it. Mm. See, that's what we're here for. Mm -hmm. See, he didn't come to save the strong and those that were in church. He came to save the wicked, mm -hmm. the weak. And the sinful. See, we spend all our time with one another in fellowship and do none of the ministry or the missions or the discipleship that we should be doing mm -hmm. because those are miserable people and misery loves company. That's a whole nother conversation, man. Yeah, we, but we we get, we, 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 we gonna get real deep, man. But stop bringing up church. We can do that. We can do that. Stop <laughs> bringing up church. We'll have oh, we'll man. do that on our, we'll we'll do another <laughs> podcast where we. Nah, man, I'm I'm a free thinker, bro. I, I, I okay, talk well about then everything. Then let me I frank freely too, then. And all kinds okay, of things, let me man. then I'm, let me I'm speak not, freely I'm not too. I'm restricted, and nobody can restrict my my voice. Okay, but then you try to respect mine. You try to restrict mine, bro. Saying, oh, we ain't going to talk about that. We're going to get back on this. But then you want to bring it up. And then when it gets too hot, then you want to turn it off. <laughs> all right. Well, I think I think that I just got one thing to say. Talking about all these trials and tribulations and the struggles. I just want to know who's going to carry the boats. If you know, you know. Who's going to carry the boats? The boats. <laughs> You'd have to be a fan to get it. Oh. Yeah. A fan of what? Goggins. <laughs> all right man well i think that um you guys got anything you want to close out with oh uh, yeah you know for i know there's just gonna be some people that i know personally um you know we are in the process of actually seeing through some some misunderstanding about what we have been taught and what we believe and I just want to encourage people to stay encouraged because um, I, I believe that there's there's something on the other side of this that's that because we're gonna seek or, we're gonna sink or we're gonna swim. It ain't gonna be no we're, we can't sit on the on the on the on the, on the, on the fence no more. We can't do that. You got to get off that fence and choose a side. And there's a lot of people have chosen chosen the side of, of violence. We can't we, we that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. Violent, violence isn't go, isn't gonna be the 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 the, the end result of, of of this nation or the end result of families or anything like that. Because I'm I'm a firm believer that that you know uh, um, 
this thing called love, this thing called uh, peace, these, thing, these virtues, these real virtues that we, we, we actually go, not suffering, but the real virtues of, uh, of brotherhood and, and mankind, I think that that ultimately needs to win the day. And right now, you have to, like the Bible says, you got to, you, you, you know, if, if, you're on the, if, you're on the, if you're on the fence, you're in a bad position. Choose, your, choose who you will serve today. Period. Because it, because the gig is up. The 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 the, the veil has been re re removed, and we see clearly who is is not righteous. So live righteous. Learn that. Righteous is, righteousness is going to be the only thing that's going to save. Because that's the only thing that the devil will flee over. Not no violence. You'll get your ass beat trying to, <laughs> trying, to, trying, to, trying to think that you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this devil. But see, it says in, in the good book. But you, go ahead, Steve. Oh, you want me to preach yeah. now? Yeah, no, no. Because <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got a slide open three Sundays from now, man. So you can come in there and preach, it man. Says, it, it, it says, uh, it says, uh, it started, what is that one about the devil feed? Know who you is or what? what, what is it? What is it? He comes to rob, kill, steal, and destroy. Right, right. He comes to rob, kill, steal, and destroy. But how does he flee? How how does the how can you make the devil flee? In Jesus' name. In righteousness. Yeah, in Jesus' yeah. name. That's Leave the only, that, in, in, that's the only but, thing that's left, brothers and sisters. That's the only thing. Okay, we're gonna get on to, get on get on board. That's it. You got something now? You wanna? I just taking it all in. A lot of good points were brought up. And I really like the thing that Steve said about just cause talking about neighbors, just building your community. Wherever you're at, focus on your community, build that up. And that could change people's perceptions of you. Even if you don't, like if you say you don't care what people think, there's still, that's still present. And if it's in your neighborhood, you have to deal with that presence. Mm -hmm. So I just believe in building your community, making a stronger mm -hmm. community. Also just spend less time on social media and read more books. A lot of people just don't pick up an actual physical paper book. We got a library, don't we? Yeah, we, we do. got We got a library. We got, we got 1,500 books from A to Z already, already started. Anything you want to learn about reality is there. That's what we got. We got stuff that you can't find in the, in the whole metro area. You see, we serious about this. Yeah. Well, do, do, well, is there any way that, that people can get in touch? I know not, not you yet. guys haven't not, created not a, but, but okay, how about let's talk about it we can be about. Hmm? It. I mean, how, you know, because there may be people no, that we, are listening we, that we, might be interested we, in joining we, you guys. We, no, no, we're we, we going to set workings. up a Facebook account. Go ahead, man. It's, it's in the workings, but yeah. we're still trying to iron out all the details. So before we really throw it out there like that, we got to make sure that we're organized and we're ready for that. All right. That's fair. It's how it should be. All right, Steve, you Good got thought. something else? you got something you want to close out with? No. I do know that you have something more to talk about. Can we get you back on? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That's all that's all I have to say. All right. Well, you know, I guess, you know, I, like uh, Alex said, both both sides I think presented, you know, some pretty good uh you know, opinions and, and, you know, hopefully there's some clarity. I mean, I, I, I feel like I've learned something and hopefully, you know, you, people don't think that they're so knowledgeable of, about everything that they can't learn, you know, why, why somebody might not see the world through their yeah, eyes, say, it's you know, so, experience. so, you know, that's just kind of where I want to leave it. But, uh, so that will conclude another uh, episode of Dialogue to Destiny. Once again, these, uh, these podcasts are available on pretty much all of the different platforms that uh, that you listen to or watch podcasts on. Um, if you would like our like our podcast, subscribe to it, and um, whatever we can do to to bring more information to you, we appreciate it. We'd appreciate your input on that. I mean, and um, like I say, always say at the end of these podcasts, we don't take your time for granted. We we value that you you spend an hour, hour and a half, or whatever it is with us, listening to us, you know, pontificate over different things. So if uh, Look at you pontificate, oh, oh, whatever, man. Oh, oh, North Side. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, but you're getting a little. <laughs> no, man, whatever, man. Raising but uh, that, here. you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and sign off now with that. So. Uh, like I said, we'll we'll come back with another podcast here in another week or so. 
Thanks for listening. All right, peace.